Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. Hey, if you're new to this channel, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors. And this channel's all about concrete and a lot about concrete flat work. Some stamp concrete, some concrete repair. So if that's the kind of stuff that interests you, go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. So what we're doing today is we're pouring this concrete floor for this camp on a lake. It's a 32 by 24 foot house. And we're going to show you how we're going to vibrascreed this floor. I got a new vibrascreed there from Marshalltown. And we're going to try it out today, see how it works. And you guys are going to be able to check that out. So the first thing we're doing is we're just getting the concrete on the ground. I don't know if you guys noticed, but see how we kind of flipped that last chute on the truck around the opposite way. So the concrete doesn't splatter quite so bad. So that's a... Uh, that's a little trick there in case you guys have never done that before. Most chutes on most trucks will do that. They'll fit both ways. And uh, we do that all the time when we're pouring over a wall like this. Now we're going to get this concrete down. We're going to get about three quarters of this floor poured before we start screeding it. Because uh, that, screed, that screed works really good and it's really fast. So you're going to see just how easy it is to, to level that concrete out. What I'm doing is I'm shooting a wet pad there. You guys just saw me shoot a wet pad using that laser. And we like striking our pads by hand using a regular screed. And then we'll vibra screed the concrete off of those pads. That way we, we know they're perfect. They're perfectly level with the outside. All right, we got just about three quarters of this thing poured out and then we're going to move the truck over to the side to finish you can see i'm magging the edge over there on the left we got a chalk line snapped on the wall and that's what i'm going by darren's shooting another pad with a laser we'll strike that pad and give us something to go by in the middle and here i am with the vibra screen so what I liked about this Vibra Screed from Marshalltown was it's, uh, it's set up really nice. The on-off button and the throttle is really easy to use. It starts with one pull and it, it, really, it really vibrates uh, the concrete nice and level. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like running a, the Cadillac of, of Vibra Screeds really. I mean, I've run a lot of Vibra Screeds in the last 39 years and we're trying this one out and I, I really liked it. I would highly recommend this. We've done a couple floors with it now. It's got a little kickstand on it there. If you can see that to the right, that helps hold it up. Uh, the handle grips are adjustable up or down to whoever's running it, whatever, however tall you are. So that makes it really easy and real comfortable to run. And it's pretty lightweight. I think the, th the whole thing weighs like 40 pounds probably. So it makes it real easy to screed concrete, guys. If you don't kick screed, I mean, if you've seen some of my other videos where we kick screed the concrete, that, that's, that's not that easy to learn. But using a screed like this, this is pretty easy to learn. All right, the guys are just waiting for me to bowl float and get out of the way. All right, so here we are. We're going to finish pouring this out. This whole floor was about 10 yards of concrete. We use a 3500 PSI concrete in most of our floors with fiber mesh for reinforcement. You can see we got a 6 mil vapor barrier down there. Um, the general contractor we work for, he doesn't require any wire mesh in here or rebar, just, just the fiber mesh in the concrete. We're going to saw our expansion joints in this too when we're done troweling it. Alright, we're going to come down this last this last bay here you can see you watch me pull it's this is so easy to pull backwards on you know, just go nice and slow and the, let the puddlers do all the work they're gonna rake the concrete behind you and make sure it's not too low not too high and then we just level it out and bow float it that bull float, you can see it's got rounded edges on it. I like those bull floats. That's from Marshalltown too. I like those bull floats with the rounded edges. They barely leave a line at all. And as you'll see here when we finish bull floating, the handles on the bull float 
tip it one way or the other. So you spin them to the right a little bit, it tips the front edge up. You spin them to the left and it tips the back edge up. Makes bow floating really easy. Well, that's it, guys. That's the new Barber Screed. Uh, you can check it out. All these tools will be down in the description below if you want to check them out. Um, I highly recommend that Marshalltown Viber screed, guys, if you're looking, looking for a new screed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.